Welcome back. We're solving quadratic equations using the ABC formula and hopefully you've seen my, um, my previous uh, video where I um, explained to you why I call it the ABC formula. Okay? We have to correct it to two decimal places and show all workings and that already suggests that you cannot factorize it. Okay, x squared plus 3x minus 4 and that has to equal 0. Um, First of all, quadratic equations, the strategy is you have to equal it to zero and it has to be in the correct order. First the term of the x squared, then the term of the x, then your number, your constant. Yeah? And in this case that has already been done for you, but sometimes you have to rearrange it a little bit yourself. Yeah, but no problem there. Then I said, well, in general then, we say ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. Yeah? Because you've got to identify what the values of your a, b, and c are. Now, how much is a? a is the coefficient of my x squared, uh, the term of x squared. What is my a? It is 1. What is my b? My b is 3. And what is my c? Minus 4. Yeah? And please, write down these values the first 20 times when you solve these questions, yeah? so you don't make any silly mistakes and then think that you don't understand, because you do understand. Okay, have to show all workings, yeah, because otherwise we'll just do everything in our calculator because the formula is actually inside your calculator. Uh, I'll show you next video how to use that one, but we have to show all workings. So uh, let me find a proper uh, pen first. There we go. So don't be scared, you can do this. Let's write down a general formula, yeah. Two o'clock in the night, your mom wakes you up. What is the ABC formula? And you're going to tell her uh, x equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac and all of that divided by 2a. You have to be able to, to write down that formula as quickly as I just did. Okay? You are going to get this question. It will be worth a lot of points. Do yourself a favor and practice it. Okay, let's fill in the blanks. I'm still looking for a proper pen. x equals minus b, and I'm going to substitute these values now into my ABC formula, minus b, so that's going to be minus 3, okay? Plus or minus, and these are my workings, huh? these are my workings. b squared, always put some brackets around that, especially when it's negative. 3 squared minus 4 times a times c, and all of that divided by 2 times a. There we go. So x is going to equal minus 3 plus or minus, now perhaps you want to use a calculator to work that out, <coughs> excuse me, I'm coughing a lot today, uh, that is 9 and then minus 4 is 16 is 25, yeah, over 2, hang on a minute, that's a beautiful square number, isn't it? What is the square root of 25? Well, that is 5, yeah, so x equals minus 3 plus 5, which is 2 divided by 2, which is 1. Uh, use your calculator to check that. Or x equals minus 3 minus 5, which is minus 8, divided by 2, which is minus 4. Hey, hang on a minute. Actually, now I'm getting two beautiful whole numbers. Yeah? And why did I choose this particular example? Just to show you that actually, the question you could have factorized as well, yeah, because x squared plus 3x minus 4 equals 0, all right, so two numbers multiply minus 4, and if you add them, you get 3, yeah, I showed you before how to factorize, that is 4 and minus 1, zero product property, so x is minus 4, or x is 1, yeah? I've explained this in the past. So, just to show you that that ABC formula, which looks scary and intimidating, yeah? Which looks like some sort of magical trick, yeah? Actually gives me the exact same answer, yeah? The correct answer. Because if I would factorize it, I get exactly the same, all right? Now, that was just to show you that this is not magic, yeah? This is maths, all right? But usually, usually, when they say correct two decimal places show all workings, you know you're going to get decimals 
uh, a non-exact answer, so you'll have to use the ABC formula to solve it. Yeah, minus B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC over 2A. Okay, write it down 20 times and you will remember it yourself. Next video, I'll show you how to do it in your calculator.